All right, kids. Let's, um, this is going to be the first fire up, and hopefully the stupid thing doesn't explode. I feel the need to reiterate the point um, before we start this next video. I don't know what I'm doing at all <laughs> in the in the smallest sense I inept I'm just trying to figure this out I'm trying to save a $15 radial arm saw so when I'm screwing this up be nice all right uh, I'm sure many of you saw this coming um, as I was attempting to get this bearing off I did the really dumb thing and went whacka whacka with a hammer um, which has mushroomed the end of this shaft out now the really crappy part is I don't happen to have a machine shop so I don't really have any way that I can just chuck it up in a lathe and get that flat I do need to get a bearing like this is actually the old bearing that came off the other end I need to get this bearing down to this point um, the problem is this bearing right here or this shaft at this point right here is 0 0.6660 inches if I come up to here at the widest point I'm at 0.69 and that ain't gonna work so I got to get the mushroomed end off of there I'm going to show you this. This is my somewhat dirty um, shaft. And you can see right here, there is a lip. I have mushroomed that out over, but there is most definitely a lip from here up. Now, I don't know if that is to retain the bearing. I'm still continuing to try to file away this part that I mushroomed over. Because let's see, with my POS calipers here, it's 0.67. So, and then what am I at up here? Up here, 0.68 and change. So, still a little ways to go. Alright, it's time to be the hero or time to be the zero. Well, I guess we'll be the zero. Now, can I get it off of there? Probably not. That's really hot. All right, 
attempt number one failed. But if nothing else, if I can show you this before I burn my hand off. There we go. This came off as I was attempting to hammer it on. So, poop. Well, we'll have to get this tolerance a little better than what it was. Alright, that's just try number one. So, here's the, uh, the weird part of how we're going to make our second attempt at getting this bearing on. The first thing is getting that hot plate nice and warm and then we're going to cook that bearing five minutes aside half an hour total all right I have done everything that I can do to remove this little mushroom thing that I had going on here this is where the bearing sits 66.9 and up here right about the same so we'll see we got the bearing cooking let's put this in the freezer see what we can do again entirely possible at this point I was so irritated to try to put this bearing in that I forgot to hit the record button and then I had to hammer it on not the preferred method. together.
right, kids. Let's, um, this is going to be the first fire up. And hopefully, the stupid thing doesn't explode. Oh my gosh, I, was, I thought it was seized up there for a minute because I didn't hear a horrible screaming noise. That's unbelievable. Did I mention how unbelievable that is? I mean, I know that's without a blade, without a cutting and anything, but I mean, you can like talk and be in the same room. And here we've got a bit more mass on it. We've got our, our blade back on. But even with this on, it's not horrible like it was before. I'd say tomorrow is going to be a fun day because we're going to adjust the table saw and we're going to adjust the radial arm saw. Hey, if you've enjoyed this episode of Rattle Can Guitar Restorations, you might want to check out the videos below. Also, be sure to like comment and subscribe to us over on the YouTube. You can friend us over on the Facebook. And you can follow us on the Instagram as well as the Twitter. See you next time. Thanks for watching the train wreck. Cheers. <laughs>